So I always teach everybody, my clients, my agents, everybody, to look at real estate as only an investment. Never look at it as anything more than that. Um, one of my new agents had a client come in this week and they were talking about the perfect home and what they described and it was a great home, <laughs> they, it was nice. And then I said, what's your budget? How much do you wanna spend on a monthly basis? And it was significantly lower than what they wanted in a home. So she said, well, what do I do? And I said, you teach them that all those things are possible. That perfect home is possible, just not right now. When you buy real estate, you buy for today. You're not buying for forever. You buy for what's available in today's market, what's available that I could love for three to five years, and then turn around and sell it. And they said, I never looked at it that way. And I said, because mentally we've been taught that real estate should be your forever home. You buy something, you hold it forever. It's just not the case anymore. Our parents did that because that's what they were taught. I teach my kids, my agents, and everybody else that that's not the way of the future. The way of the future is, is to just stop paying landlords to have a mortgage and to make all that money in equity. I, I want to teach people that you can build generational wealth off investment, something I off of buying real estate rather. I've never had that. My, my parents didn't say, hey, go buy all these houses. We lived in rentals or base housing or something to that degree. So I had no idea. But what I've seen people accomplish just buying real estate, um, it just, it opened my eyes significantly. There's a gentleman in our town. He owns 46 properties and they're all rental properties. And I just, I look at him and I, I know that what he pays for them. I know he paid pennies on the dollar. He's had them for 20 years. Those houses right now, if he retired, he'd have millions of dollars in the bank. So he did it the right way. And so that's what I, I use as examples to clients and to the agents. You're, don't go out there and sell them their dream home. Sell them something that fits them for that moment. Don't sell, you're not trying to get rich off everybody. You're trying to actually put them in a position that they're gonna be successful in the future. And that's not putting them at the top of their budget. That's putting them in something that they can be realistically comfortable. Nine times out of 10 in my buyer's consultation, my first question is, where have you lived? Oh, I, I rent. Okay, how long have you rented? For seven years. Oh, wow, how much have you paid in that rent? and they'll say 500 and I'll look back and go, okay, so you're paying $6,000 a year for seven years, you paid $42,000 to that landlord. And they said, wow. I said, yeah, when you leave, how much are you gonna get back? And they said, probably nothing. And I said, yeah, you'd be lucky if you get your uh, deposit back because they're gonna find damage or something. But if you had your own home, because you're not comfortable in your apartment, if you had your own home that was a little bit bigger and you did the exact same thing, the likelihood of you moving out and putting something in your pocket is very good. Realistically, you may put 25, 30,000 of that back in your pocket and go find something else. So stop spending that money renting. Stop investing in other people's mortgage. There's a meme going around that says that right now. It says, you're always gonna have a mortgage. It's rather it's yours or rather it's theirs. <laughs>